Right. Hi everyone, it's Gav. Welcome back to the channel. Here with me is the Mrs. Lucy and we're going to do a rehouse. So I hope everybody's doing okay with the lockdown at this moment in time. I hope everybody's keeping themselves busy. Um, I thought I would do some videos and do some of our collection. <laughs> and um go through it but it's typical trying to do my collection at the minute they're all fine they don't need anything so nothing needs maintaining just apart from water some feed and stuff like that my breeding's still going well nothing's happened of yet so i'll keep you posted of that but we're literally going to rehouse a brachypalma alviceps i call it mr t you getting no playing fool because <laughs> he has a little tuft between the eyes back of his head it's quite aggressive for a brachypalma but we're going to rehouse him it's not confirmed male i'm hoping it's a female and and that's it for this video so we'll get straight into that one as well right okay so from this one because i think it's going to go into a malt soon and then it'd be way too big for this into this bigger tub i think a few of you have seen that i keep these sort of tubs plenty of air holes all around the side back on the top and i like these because they're lockable and they have handles so these are brilliant and they're stackable as well so i put air holes in the tops so it's all well vented so simple setup, dry substrate, because these ones here, they only like the dry. So if you get it too moist, they end up just digging it around. So there's water in there, springtails in there as well. But for a brachypalma, this is the most aggressive brachypalma I have. He just is jumpy, he's fast, he's skittish. He's already moving. But if you see my previous videos, I don't do any cupping. I have got a cup here just in case he does escape. I don't want him falling onto the floor. I can quickly just get him, but I'm just going to tap him to get in there. But normally he attacks straight away. It's so, lovely, isn't it? Yeah, the colour. I don't know if you want to zoom in over him. Close up. It's just beautiful coloration on the carapace. There. It's almost like peachy sort of blonde, isn't it? I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but it is a red abdomen. But I don't know if that's coming up on there or not. Is that the one that shakes the... I thought it was brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um, shake the it, rear it, hairs. It, yeah. All right. He's going to think this is food, so I'll just quickly... Oh, what, so we'll go to... Yeah, he just moves quick, this one. Yeah, he's definitely going into pre -mort. How do you know when they need a bigger thing? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, you did, didn't like that. Just wait a sec, let's see the hairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he you does that with him shaking? Yeah, so don't do this at home yourselves. Make sure for these hairs aren't too bad. Some people react differently to them. I'm not bothered by these hairs um, of this species. Oh, but um, if you inhale them or get them in, in your eyes, then you will be in a bit of pain. So just let those hairs go. You feel right. your boots? I'm not bothered with these. But I already know now that I'm going to have to try and cut this and I don't like cupping my tarantulas. Can you see? Yep. I'm only going to cup it just purely because I don't want it to get too stressed and just get more hair out. I don't know if I'm going to go around another angle. I can see. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, see, he's releasing more hair. I just want to get him in. He shakes pretty fast, doesn't he? Yeah. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, see, he's getting quite a bit of hair off here. Um, That's a lot of shaking. Yeah. Come on, mate. Oh, just get in. Just get in. In you go. In you go. There's a little speed that I dance. In you go. There we go. All right, just stay there, you two, because yep. the, I can see the hairs. Oh, can you? Yeah. They're very, very fine. Like a dust. I don't know if I'm going to get a closer look at him before I put him in. Yeah, I've got you the hairs on my hand. You can see the different colour of his back now. Yeah, so you can see that. that he, I don't know if you can though. see a balder spot there. He's already kicked off quite a bit of hair. So normally I wouldn't do it like this, cup him. But he's just very skittish, jumpy. So to save him getting too stressed, I put him in here. And that obviously just to stop the... Yeah, I mean, I just stopped the hair coming around everywhere. But he should just go in. Come on, Mr. T. Mm -hmm. yeah. And get in the tub. 
<laughs> there. And he's done. Pity the fool. <laughs> so just move yeah. him. There we go. Oh. You can see how bald he's got on his rear abdomen already now. Look, yeah. you zoom in. That's all the hairs he's just kicked Considering off. Considering so. how much he just shook though. He's still got loads And it's not on that him. I'm deliberately stressing him out. This particular one, I haven't moved out of the containment I keep them in, which is pitch black. And he's been in there for three weeks, four weeks without coming out. He's just completely chilled. So when you do get some out, they get a bit skittish because of the light. Um, but he will now go back in, have a chance to chill because he's going into pre mop So we'll leave him and we'll show you when he gets a bit bigger. But that's it for this rehouse. That's the Brachypalma Albiceps. Okay, so we did that rehouse, went quite smoothly. The spider a little bit stressed, but I got haired a few, but um, as expected, couldn't really, um, went really smooth, so can't really fault it really, but I'm gonna do the other enclosure now. I'm gonna put something else in that, so I've just tidied up the enclosure, put some damp to one side, and now we're gonna put something else in there as well. So, um, do you wanna do this one? What, rehouse it? Yeah, so you can like tap him to go in if you want. Okay, AKA like Henry. Here. Yeah, this one's going to be um, a Canthoscaria geniculata, so giant white knee. Um, this is only, I had it from a tiny, tiny sling. I've got a brother and sister of these, so I've got uh, Henry and Hallie. So this is Henry, and it was only about a centimetre, um, but now I think it's uh, getting on for a move. So anybody that knows Agens know that they will strike anything, so they will literally go for anything. So go and let her go. Good news. Okay, so there's Henry, but I don't know if it's male or female yet, but you can see it's, um, it could stay in this container a little bit longer, but I just want to give them a bit more room because one more malt again, they just double in size, these guys. So um, just gonna go straight into there, damp to one side of it, water dish down here, plenty of room, and I'm not doing it. So off over to Lucy. Well, don't come towards me, dude. Put it down so he doesn't yeah, drop, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Careful the dirt don't fall. Tap him out. Come on, no, different this way, There you go. No. Oh, he's hanging on by one foot. Is, is he down? He's, he's out. He's, he's out. out. There you go, nice one. Have a quick look at the coloration. So the white knee has in the name and then the red rump again. With a slight pink tinge on there. Um, Legs. We'll see nice. if it's hungry. Here, do you want to that? I'll just go see if he's hungry. Cute. It's cute. <coughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh, he is. Yep. yep. <laughs> Take it yourself. So that way, when they feed, once you've rehoused them, if they feed straight away, then you know that they're quite relaxed, they're chilled, and um, not stressed. Not stressed at all, and they will just adapt to this new enclosure straight away and off there it goes so that's this video done today guys so thanks very much for me and lucy and we'll see you next one later